report right now in Venezuela. There are widespread power outages reported tonight across that country. The state-owned power company is calling it sabotage. They say it's part of a power war against the regime. Pro-government officials often blame power outages on the opposition. Meanwhile, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee held hearings today on the ongoing crisis. The total United States support is now just short of $200 million. Elliot Abrams is the Trump administration special envoy to Venezuela. He testified before Congress that there are no U.S. plans to intervene militarily, but repeated that all options are on the table when it comes to removing Nicolas Maduro from power. We have stocked warehouses in Cucuta, Colombia, full of food and basic medicines at the border and are seeking ways of bringing those supplies into Venezuela and having them distributed to people in need. Over the next few weeks, Venezuela is going to enter a period of suffering no nation in our hemisphere has confronted in modern history. Florida Senator Marco Rubio predicted the Maduro regime will be crippled by increased sanctions. He blames Maduro for the economic crisis facing the oil-rich nation and wants to see Juan Guaido step in as interim president. As of today, Venezuela has about six, seven days left of fuel supplies. This is the most oil-rich country in the world. And this is because they've destroyed the domestic production capacity. Guaido returned to Venezuela Monday after risking arrest by leaving to visit several South American nations who want to see Maduro gone. He's called on his countrymen to continue taking to the streets to keep the pressure on Maduro and his supporters. All right, back to the massive power outages tonight across Venezuela. The state-owned power company says they are working to restore service, but we have not heard how long they think it will take.